Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> what a lovely face to look at. Uh, hello loved ones, I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop welcoming you back to who knows what. It's only a little bit after 7. I woke up this morning to a power outage in my building and it is soupy today, soupy gloopy soupy sales. You know, hot and oh, it's so humid. Anyway, it's like a brick pizza oven on the eighth floor in that building. I think it went out in the night and so any little air conditioning that might have been on is off. So, I was not planning on doing this, but I'm not going to sit in there and, like a lemon and rotting waiting for that electricity to come on. I'm going thrifting, so it's early. Let's see what happens. Maybe today's the day. Who knows? Look at this. This is so like late 40s, early 50s. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking. I'm, I'm sitting here having a conversation. What does it say? It says uh, 911 Arch Street. That's just a few blocks from where I currently reside. I love it. Uh, 1952. And it's that sort of textured cardboard stuff. I just might have to get that. That is just like, I love that. Classic. Well, for the moment, let me put it back. And uh, obviously you can see the music is on. I don't know, I'll talk as much as I can. We may have to do voiceovers. Uh, yeah, I do like this a lot, but it's one of those, one of those things that wouldn't appeal to everybody. Now this is old. Is that supposed to be George and Martha Washington? It is. Is that their daughter at the piano forte? <laughs> or keyboard? Not keyboard, um, pian uh, harpsichord? What is this? This is old. Cantor's Art Store Pictures and Frames in Reading, Pennsylvania. This is ancient. $7.99. It's never been out of that frame either. And I'm looking to see if there's a title. Well, it's obviously George and Martha Washington. And their daughter is entertaining them. Uh, I don't know about that. Meaning, I don't know how popular that would be with anybody. Okay, I really don't want to look at the artwork first, but I was drawn in by this one, which happens to be my favorite so far. Let's go over here to the stems. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do we see some nice looking barware here? Is this Culver? I forget what the, I forget what's on sale today. This is, and it's $4.49 for the set. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, we got to get all of these. Yeah, it's signed. Wait a minute. Is it Culver? Yeah, you can see it. You can see it signed right there. Okay, and there are some larger ones down there. These are going in the cart, and I think it's time for voiceovers because the music is getting a little loud. Well, poo poo, I have to do a voiceover. Uh, boy, they were really kicking the 80s channel in there. Did you hear Fascination? Oh my gosh, I can see myself now in my green Ocean Pacific corduroy short pants and my feathered hair. That took me back to the 80s. Anyway, that little creamer had an H in the bottom, so it was Heisey Glass. And I don't remember the name of that pattern, but I couldn't find the creamer. So I decided to leave the sugar bowl right there. Good piece of glass. I don't know, maybe the colonial pattern or something like that. I don't know what that dumb thing was. I guess it wasn't a dumb thing. It was a little salt or pepper shaker is what it was. 
Okay, okay. Uh, ah. Okay, grab it. Now we know it's green. It looks etched. Looks like a piece of depression glass. Five dollars. I don't walk around with a black light, but I was 99% certain that this would glow. I didn't recognize that pattern. There are dozens of them, and some of them are in my brain, and some of them aren't. But into the cart it goes with all of the Carver barware, which is in there too. It was very inexpensive. Now, this little set, okay, we've got, what, six berry bowls. Notice how it says the set of six, eight dollars. Austrian porcelain, about a hundred years old. What you don't see is, okay, there are six of them, and then there's that plate down there. Well, I didn't turn the plate upside down while I was filming, but they had that plate priced separately. The doggone plate was priced at around $12. Really? Well, I could have bought the six berry bowls and not bought the plate. I just didn't buy any of it because it made me mad the way they had it priced. Okay, this is nice. Uh, it's not anchor hocking. It's made in Mexico. It always fools me. And I'm going to try to zoom in on the Mexico there in a minute. But back to that porcelain stuff. You know, it was nice, but I didn't really want to sink... $22 into it. There was some money to be made in it, but I guess I was annoyed at the way it was priced, and I didn't really want to separate that plate from the six berry bowls, so I decided to walk away. Now what am I doing? Oh, you know you didn't. Put that down, Walt Disney. I mean, Disney's fine, but it's just a little piece of uh, tourist glass. And that, well, I don't know. But you know, who knows? That Walt Disney thing might sell for 30 bucks. So I don't know. I just didn't buy it. And, uh, okay, what am I doing now? Ooh, ooh, ooh. 1980s. Rainbow or primary Pyrex. Okay. Hmm. $9 for the three bowls. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. They look like they're in excellent condition. Okay, we're missing the little green one. But I think that set, even if it's incomplete, um, I'll make at least 20 to $25 on those nesting bowls. People still like that 1980s Pyrex. And they were in super good condition, very clean. Oh, I just wanted to zoom in on this Dormeyer mixer. Built like a like a steamship, but there was a lot of pitting in it, a lot of corrosion, and sometimes you're just not in the mood to clean one of these things up. So I decided to leave it on the shelf. But I love those old mixers. Here's another one, a Sunbeam. Also in chrome, probably from the 1960s. Mm hmm You know, they have good motors. Those things last and last and last. Okay, a bunch of coffee pots, nothing old. Well, you know what I mean when I say old. My kind of old. Aha! Cocktail shakers. Let's get a closer look. Uh, this one I've seen before. Oh, rats. No lid. Eh. I think I actually already have a, an example of that packed away somewhere. No, I don't want to pay $7 for that without the lid. This one has a nice uh, red Lucite handle or Bakelite handle on it. Again, no lid. So I'm not interested in putting them aside and holding on to them. I mean, it's rare that you just find a random lid, but it's very common that you find shakers missing their lids. We'll leave them. Maybe someone will make a flower pot out of them. There's a chrome cream and sugar, so I didn't really want that. Oh, yeah. What is that? That Picard stuff uh, made in Chicago, that heavily gilded. I've done well with that in the past. Okay, now let's take a look at this. 
I knew this was McCoy right off the bat. We don't even have to look. Oh, it's cracked. Well, let me spin it around. Well, you know I love that color. I love the way it's stylized. Uh, what about that crack, though? Yeah. Six dollars. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll keep it. We're going to look at everything on the front seat in just a minute anyway, so I guess I'm going to ramble on about it again. Why did I put it back on the shelf? Oh, you're going to grab that rooster. That rooster is fierce. Now, what I didn't know is he's marked, and you might not be able to see it, but there is a name of the pottery company embossed down near the bottom of that rooster. And he reminded me of something that McCoy would do. Yeah. But, um, and he was not chipped or cracked. Now that duck isn't old. Let's not mess with that duck. But back to that rooster. Uh, there, there is a, there is a embossed name on the side. I can't remember what it is, or I couldn't figure out what it, what it is or what it was while I was in the store. Well, come on, what are you wasting time for? Put the doggone thing in your cart. For Pete's sake, let's get a move on. Time's wasting. Okay, finally. <laughs> what is he doing? Ooh, now look at this. Ah, another pottery set. $1.99 for one candlestick holder. $1.99 for the second one. And the little vase which matches is also a dollar ninety nine. One, two, three. Okay, six bucks for all of it. Sure, I'll do that. No chips, no cracks. I love it. Made by an American pottery company. Just says USA on the bottom, so it could be a lot of different people. And I did not know when I was in the store whether it was McCoy or somebody else, but oh, you know, I had to buy that. Good shape in the cart it goes. We're going to see that a little bit later as well. I'm doing pretty well today in this particular store and it wasn't crowded. Mm. Let's see, nothing special there. I don't, I'm not sure why I picked those up. Well, I like chrome quite a bit. And then, oh my gosh, this big old glass pitcher must have weighed 10 pounds with nothing in it. You don't need to go to the gym. Just pour everybody a glass of lemonade and watch your biceps and triceps. Now this was very lightweight, sort of, I don't know, low fired uh, ceramic. Didn't think much of that. I do like that sugar bowl with the lid on there. I guess, yeah, that's a sugar bowl. Mm, now, is that some weird piece of hawking ruby red I don't know about? I don't know. But I, I did leave it there. Now, we see some of the typical... Oh, I point at that thing. <laughs> but... I had no intentions of buying it. That's that front seat review. A green depression glass pitcher, which may or may not glow under black light. It mm, has a, I guess, a 50 50 chance. I don't carry a black light around with me. I don't recognize that pattern. You know, I mean, there are just dozens and dozens. That's not one that I've committed to memory. So I'm not really sure about that. This was five dollars. Uh, it is one that's slightly unusual. Maybe by the time I produce the video, I'll look it up and tell you what it is. But oh, I don't remember that one. Now this rooster, I'm really getting a sort of a McCoy feel to him. I just don't know. There's something about the way the feathers are done on him, and and down in here too. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but there's 
the bottom of it doesn't necessarily look like a McCoy, so oh, I don't know. He was $3 and he was $4. There are no chips or cracks on him. And he's not, uh, I don't see any crazing either. So it's kind of nice not to get the ubiquitous Royal Copley multicolored rooster, but somebody who I think is a little bit older. And speaking of McCoy, here is the McCoy uh, vase that I got. And uh, notice the way they do the, fr the fronds, whatever they are, fronds of some kind of a plant on there. Kind of similar to, to what they've done down here. So I like these two pieces. Now this one, you did see the damage. I did pay $6 for it. And we've got that crack at the top in the back. But the vase is not chipped or crazed, and this side is in perfect looking condition. So I'm probably going to keep this and use it uh, because I like the color. I like the fact that there's not some dumb bird on the front of it. <laughs> I think there was another one similar to this with a bird and, and a plant up here with little berries on it. Yeah, that one I had and sold, but I like this one where it's more of a geometric effect. I think, well not so much geometric, but more of a 30s, 40s look to the plant life up here. And no bird! So green, mid uh, 1930s, 40s, really like that rooster too. And then also, in the pottery, not sure about this, you know, it's just marked USA, so I've got to get in and go through my books. Now remember there are two candle holders and one vase. So the other candle holder is in a bag around here somewhere, um, but they all are uh, from the same company, and each one was $1.99. So a nice little set there, two candlestick holders and a blue pottery vase. Very 1930s, 40s, very pre-war. Now the Culver glass. Um, it's been a while since I've had any, and I think it still does fairly well. I think the some of the patterns go crazy, and some are much more common. This one is probably going to stay at the low end, simply because it's not multicolored. We've got the green decoration. <laughs> green. That's what I was hoping for, but we have none. It's just the gold. And it is marked Culver. They are marked marked Culver uh, right there. They usually are. And so there are eight of the tumblers. And then seven of the smaller matching little, whatever they are, whiskey or on the rocks. They're around here somewhere too. So I'll probably split the set and do sell the eight complete and then the other set of seven, which is slightly incomplete. But I think I'll still do okay on these because I only paid, um, well, I think, I don't remember, but you saw in the story, it wasn't a whole lot for each set. All right, what else have I got? Okay, I found the little culver, just so you can see. This is the little set. Um, yeah, so six, uh, seven of these, which match the taller ones, and then, I kind of thought this set did a little better than what I was able to determine. I only looked very quickly and I only saw one uh, comp on there, so we'll see what happens. I did pay $9 for the 1980s Pyrex set, missing its green bowl, but in super excellent condition is the red, the yellow, and the blue. Uh, and of course, this is your 1980s uh, microwavable safe uh, Pyrex. Now, um, I did a quick comp and here's what I got. Mm, $30 for a set of three. Well, okay. I just found that one. And uh, even at that, you know, I paid $9. So if mine sells for the same, well, there's 20 bucks in it. But this is not a complete set since we're missing the green one. And what I have to decide is, and I haven't decided yet, I'm gonna do a little more digging around. I'm, excuse me, I may break this up and sell each one individually as replacement bowls. Um, sometimes, 
there's more profit in that. Now, if it were a complete set, I wouldn't break it up. I'd sell it all together as one. And I can always dig around and you know try to find the green bowl. So there's lots of different options. Find the green one, break it up and sell it bowl by bowl by bowl, <laughs> or put all three on and let them rip. Sometimes it's a gamble, but it's fun to try new things and see what happens. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that's that. Now, there is more, but we're going to cut it short right now because I don't want to be broadcasting for two hours. So I'll say thanks for joining me. I'm back. The electricity is on in my building and I'm ready to get into some air conditioning and get all this stuff washed up and ready for sale. So thanks for shopping with me. I hope you had a good time. I had a good time. And I'll be back because there are other things I bought today that I haven't shown you yet. So please tune back into the old curiosity shop in the next few days. Until then, I'm Scott saying, wait for the cat. Thanks for watching and so long for now.